Hello, my lovely friends. Thank you so much for joining me today for this ballet Pilates fusion workout I'm calling Pilates. You don't necessarily have to have ballet training in order to do this workout. So grab your mats and let's get started. Let's begin by sitting up nice and tall, legs lengthened out long, hands on those hips, and we're just going to flex and point the feet. Really take your time and make sure you're really articulating through those feet. So we go toe, ball, heel, and then point, heel, ball, toe. So we're working all those glorious muscles in the feet. And of course, we're just breathing naturally. Spine is tall, neck is long, shoulders down. Good job, everyone. From here, let's float the arms out to the side like a T, and we're going to go up and over and bend to the right. Keep the left side of your body on the mat. Lift the body back up, and let's go up and over and bend the other way. Good, keep breathing, lift the body up nice and tall, and now let's add in a beautiful circle. Bend to the right, round your back, over the legs, drop the head down, keep sweeping to the left, then arch the back, and bring that left arm up and over. Good, let's keep circling this way one more time. Keep it nice and smooth. Beautiful. And from here, lift the body up and let's reverse our circle. Bending to the left, right arm comes up. And we round the back forward, drop the head down, sweep to the right, and then arching the upper back, opening up the chest. Right arm comes back up, and one more time, circling around. Good, really nice work. And lift the body up nice and tall, good. Let's bend our knees and come into our butterfly pose. Next, feet together, knees apart, spine is tall. Take an inhale here, and as you exhale, round your back forward in your beautiful C curve. Drop the head down nice and heavy and just keep breathing deep. Good, roll up through the spine, bone by bone by bone. And from here, we'll go into our twist. Grab your toes with your left hand, root those sit bones, reach back with your right fingertips, and really try to grow taller as you twist to the right. Good, hold it here, breathing deep, shoulders down. And bring the body back to center, and let's twist to the left. Changing hands, really feel your body spiraling upwards as you twist. So we're always trying to get taller and longer. Bring your body back to center and let's drop the head back for a moment. Really let it go and lift the head back up. Let's take the hands behind our pelvis on the floor. Point your toes in your butterfly position, then squeeze the knees together. Open the knees apart and then we're going to lift up into our beautiful butterfly reverse tabletop pose. Gently lower your pelvis back down to the mat. Keep breathing naturally and let's go for it again. Squeeze the knees together and open to the side. Engage in your glutes and your core and your hamstrings. Lift up and hold and lower down with control. Good. And again, squeeze it in. Work that external rotation. Open the knees to the side. Lift up and hold. Good, really engaging in the entire back of the body. Lower down and one more time, squeeze it in. Open the knees wide, lift up. Good, hips should be level here. And lower the pelvis back down, nice. Let's keep the knees bent, but just elongate your legs a little bit more. Round your arms in a ballet first position and we pulse down four times. And then we're going to lift our right leg into an attitude to the front. Lengthen the leg, bend it back in, 
lower the toes and pulse back again four times. Really scoop the belly and tuck the tail, exhaling on each pulse back. Sit up tall, now lift up your left leg. Then we lengthen it long. Bend it back in, lower the foot and let's go again. Inhale, exhale, and exhale. And three, and four, sit up tall. Really try to stack your shoulders on top of your hips. Lengthen long, bend it in, and last round, pulse it back. Good, shoulders away from the ears. And use your core to sit up tall, lift up attitude, lengthen the leg long, bend it back in, lower the toes. Beautiful job. Let's take the hands back on the floor behind our pelvis. And this time, let's pulse up the right leg four times with the pointed foot. And then we're going to flex the foot and again, pulse it up. So we're really focusing on our external rotation and really think of lifting your leg with your inner thigh. We don't want to grip in the quads. So really try to allow your inner thigh to do the majority of the work here. Let's switch sides. Keep sitting up nice and tall. Keep breathing naturally. Pulsing that left leg up in your attitude four times with a pointed foot. And we go four times with a flexed foot. Good job, everybody. And another round. Point the foot. Inner thigh lifts the leg up. And flex the foot. Very nice. And lower those toes down. Good job, everyone. From here, let's lengthen both legs out nice and long. Reach your arms forward. Good. Really press those shoulders down. And use your core. Sit up tall. Inhale. And exhale over those legs. Good. Let's hold this forward fold position. Really flex up your feet. Grab your toes if you can reach. If not, your hands go on the shins. And let's come up to our beautiful flat back. Drive your shoulder blades down the back. Feel a nice stretch in your Achilles calves and hamstrings. And melt over your legs once again. Really drop your head heavy down towards those knees. And roll up through the spine. Beautiful work. All right, let's move on to our next little series. Externally rotate your legs to a ballet first, squeezing the heels and inner thighs together, arms in a first position, scoop the belly, tuck the tail, go to your halfway point, and again, we're gonna pulse it down. Exhaling on the down. Good. Really scooping the belly and tucking the tail on each pulse down. Hold it here, let's point the feet and flex. Point the feet and flex, and point and flex, and point and flex. Beautiful, back to those pulses. Good, eight times, scooping the belly, tucking the tail, shoulders away from the ears, and we point and flex, point and flex. Good, keep the length in the legs, keep your turnout. Good, and let's go for it again. You can do it. I know that core is on fire, but let's push ourselves. Good, pointing and flexing four times. You can do it, you can do it. Don't give up. And last round. Woo, core on fire. Good, keep pulsing, keep breathing, keep scooping the belly, tucking the tail. And point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. Last one, point and flex, yes! Internally rotate your legs back to the parallel line. Inhale to sit up tall, and again, exhale over those legs. Good work. Breathe nice and deep. Drop your head down towards those knees. Good. 
and roll up through the spine to sit up nice and tall. Beautiful job, everyone. Let's make our way down to our forearms. Scoop the belly, tuck the tail, roll about halfway back, and then bend the arms. Elbows directly under the shoulders, lift up nice and tall, and here we go with our devlapes and envelopes. Rotate your right leg externally, point the foot, we go up to our passe, lengthen your leg long, bend the knee back to your passe, and then we lower back down. Good, let's go for it again. So we're going coupe, passe, attitude, lengthen, and attitude, passe, coupe, and lengthen down. Good. Keep this going, everyone. So we just want to focus on maintaining our external rotation in that right leg. And of course, we are really just striving to make our longest leg line possible. So really reach your toes up to the sky as long as you can. Good, and there's no extra movement here, so really keep that core engaged. Let's try it on the second side. Left leg is turned out, and we drag the baby toe all the way up to the knee to our passe. Lengthen up to the sky, bend the knee in, and then drag the baby toe all the way back down. Good. Go for it again. Devlape leg up. Nice and long. And stay in control to bend and lower the leg down. Beautiful. Two more times. Now make sure you're not getting slouchy on me. So keep lifting up out of the floor. Shoulders away from the ears. Core muscles always working to stay nice and stable and balanced. Beautiful job, everyone. Let's squeeze the legs together in the parallel line, engage in your core, and we're going to release both arms from the floor. Try not to move anything else. Hold and breathe. Think happy thoughts. And let's figure eight the arms. So because we're adding in this twist, we are now targeting our side abdominals, our obliques. Make sure you're exhaling on your twists. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good. And keep figure eighting the arms nice and beautifully. Good, keep it smooth. And body comes back to center. Inhale, flex the feet. Exhale over those legs. Good. Again, enjoy this forward fold. Hopefully those hamstrings are feeling nice and warm. And we'll roll up through the spine. Okay, friends, let's make our way all the way down to the mat this time. Lengthen your legs and arms. Inhale to scoop the belly. Exhale to tuck the tail and make your way all the way down continue the arc with the arms spine stays in neutral and let's go for a roll up really peeling the spine off the mat rounding over your legs grab your right leg and lift that leg up arching the upper back opening up the chest lower the body and leg down and scooping the belly tucking the tail and roll it back down good one more on the other side nice and smooth peeling the spine off the mat round over the legs grab your left leg hoist it up arching the upper back beautiful lower the leg and body down with control and scooping the belly tucking the tail and make your way down very nice everyone Let's lower our arms by our sides and just come to your home base position. Hug the knees into the chest. Breathe deep, rock your knees side to side, massaging out your lower back. And let's place our hands underneath our bottom. So they're on either side of your tailbone. Flex the feet, open the knees out to the side. Engage in your core so you can lift up nice and high in that crunch position. Lengthen the legs up. Bend the knees and push the legs out. Good. So we inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, push out. 
and exhale bring it in good keep this going everyone we're keeping those heels glued together maintain your external rotation and of course we have to make sure we're imprinting our spine think about that little blueberry under your back keep crushing it into the mat don't let your back arch let's point the feet and open the legs and we bring the heels together bring it in and go for it again so we're just going to add in that little open close really working those inner thighs good job everyone keep going inhale out exhale open inhale close exhale in inhale up and exhale in nice and again beautiful job everyone let's return to our home base position and just place your hands on your knees and allow your arms to just stir your legs around try to relax your legs relax your hips good and from here let's place the hands underneath our bottom again legs are in a ballet susu turned out pointed one leg on top of the other crunch up nice and high and let's beat the legs four times and then flex the feet and open to your straddle split beat four times and open wide good really try to stay up in that nice high crunch of course you can put your head down on the mat if you need to keep crushing your blueberry and really focus on your external rotation legs stay turned out inner thighs working hard here good keep going very nice job friends let's take a moment come back into your home base position breathe deep rock the knee side to side and let's place the hands underneath the bottom once again go to your ballet susu we're going to go back to those beats so engage in your core to crunch up high crush your blueberry and let's beat the legs as we lower them down exhale to beat your legs up and then we slice the legs in our scissors four times and then we'll go from the top inhale beat down exhale beat up and we slice and change inhale exhale inhale exhale beautiful good let's keep this going friends really beat those thighs longest legs you can make good slice it out really lengthening your legs in opposition don't let the back arch good keep going hug those knees into the chest breathe deep rock your knees side to side massage out that lower back really nice job everyone and here is my furry little visitor this is my baby Lulu for those of you who don't know she makes appearances occasionally and it always makes me smile and I think it makes you smile too all right let's move on and lay down on our sides remember when you're on your side the legs should be slightly in front of your torso and let's take that top leg bring it in turn it out turn it in and turn it out so let's keep going with this once again really working that external rotation this is great for your hip mobility make sure your core is engaged no extra rocking and rolling just that top leg is moving here good 
Good job, everyone. Let's lengthen the leg now and then bring it back in to our passe. Lengthening the leg as long as you can and bend it in. Good, let's keep going with this. Make sure you're breathing and really lift up out of the floor. Don't let your energy sink down. Lift up tall. Very nice. Let's hold this last repetition. Just grab your leg and let's just enjoy this nice stretch for a moment. And gently lower your leg back down with control, but we're only going to lower it about hip height. And now just the bottom leg moves. This one is a killer, but oh so good. Keep that top leg still. Just the bottom leg comes up to meet the top. Really squeeze your inner thighs and your heels together. Good. And lower that top leg down. Yes! Let's roll over on to the bellies and we're just gonna go for a quick little swim before we try the other side. Lift up in your back extension, arms are behind, flutter those legs. Keep swimming. Good, nice quick pace of the legs. Keep going, keep going. Make sure your belly button is really pulling in and up. And hold it here. And lower the body down with control. Very nice. All right, let's roll on to our other side and do that same side sequence on the next side. Jazz passe, ballet passe. Turn it in, turn it out. Good, really focus on keeping your core engaged so there's no extra movement in the body. We're really isolating, so just that top leg moves. Keep going. Very nice. Now we extend the leg and bring it back to our passe. Extend and passe. Good. Remember, I always say this in my classes and in my videos. The ballerina in me can't help it. My feet are almost always pointed, but if it feels better for you, you can always relax your feet or even flex your feet. Nice work, everyone. Let's hold this last extension. Grab onto your leg if you can. Hold and breathe and smile. Enjoy this stretch. Good, and slowly lower the leg down about hip height. Keep your top leg there and just the bottom leg moves. Really using those inner thighs. Squeeze the thighs, squeeze the heels together. Good, keep going. I know this is a tough one. Nice work, and lower that top leg down. Roll over onto the bellies. Let's go for that back extension. Reach your arms behind, lift up, lift the legs, and let's swim. Good, really pressing the pubic bone down, engaging in those glutes and hamstrings, belly button always pulling in and up towards the spine to protect the back. Keep going. Good, and take a pause and gently lower the body back down. Beautiful work, my friends. Let's push back into our child's pose for a moment just to release the back and just take some nice deep breaths here. All right, everybody, let's go for another prone exercise. So make your way back down onto the bellies. 
and we're going to open the legs about the width of our yoga mat or a little bit wider than hip width. Prop yourself up on your forearms, placing hand on top of hand. So we're in a little baby back extension or you can place your head on your hands. Engage in your core and let's float the legs up and lower the legs down. Inhale on the up, exhale on the down. Good, and again, squeeze and lift. Lower down, squeeze and lift. Very nice, four more, and lift, and lower. Good, really focus on the energy going up and out. So lengthen those legs long. And again, good. Hold this one here and let's go in and out, in and out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reach your arms behind you. And again, we go in and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Again, one, two, three, four four, five, six, seven, hold, eight, lift up long and tall, good, and lower the body down with control, Woo! all right, rock your hips side to side to release your back, guess what, that one is so much fun, so we're doing it again, you can do it, all right, here we go, engaging in the core, and float your legs up, and lower them down with control. Good, really squeezing those glutes, engaging in the hamstrings, and really just strive to make your longest legs possible. Lift. Good, lower down with control. Don't let your legs just slam down. Beautiful, hold this one here, and again, in and out 16 times. Good, really squeezing those buns, squeezing the inner thighs. Make sure you're breathing. Hold it here, reach your arms back, and again, in and out 16 times. Good, keep pulling that belly button in and up, super important. Hold it here, breathe and smile and lower the body down nice job everyone that's a tough little series shift back into your child's pose you can open your knees out to the side or squeeze your legs together whichever position feels better for you breathe deep okay my friends stick with me we are almost there let's prop ourselves up into our tabletop position so hands under the shoulders knees under the hips and we're going to make a coupe to the back with one leg pick a leg any leg of course we're going to do both sides and then we lift up into our ballet attitude so the knee is bent the leg is of course externally rotated just like everything in ballet and we're lifting up and lowering down with control. Now stretch your leg long and we go from a tendu back to an arabesque. So same movement, but this time with a straight leg. Good. And let's switch over to the second side. Bend the knee, place your foot by your supporting heel, lift up and lower down. So this is the ballet attitude lift with the knee bent. Nice. And now let's straighten the leg and do the same thing with a straight leg. Lift it up, lower down. Good. Make sure you're not losing your core engagement. We don't want the back to arch. Spine stays in neutral. Really nice job, everyone. All right, let's see if we can amp it up. Tuck your toes under and let's shift back into our downward facing dog. We're gonna do the same pattern with the legs, but in this position. Coupe back with one foot. And we lift up to our ballet attitude and lower back down to your coupe back. 
good. Such an amazing challenge for your strength, flexibility, mobility, balance. Good, and now let's stretch the leg and do our straight leg version. Tandu back and now we go into a beautiful ponche. Very nice job everyone. Last one here. Good. And now we switch over to the second side. Externally rotate the leg, coupe back, just your heel is attached to your supporting ankle. And then lift the leg up, keeping the knee bent into your beautiful attitude derriere. Very nice. Good. And now stretch your leg and we'll do four repetitions going from your tendu back to your long panche. Nothing else moves. Keep the rest of the body nice and still and quiet. Good, beautiful job everyone. Let's return back to our downward dog. Bend the knees down to the floor and shift your weight back into your child's pose. Take some nice deep breaths here. Roll up slowly through the spine to sit up nice and tall. And we're almost there. Let's go out with something really spectacular. We're going to do a beautiful Bilates flow or Bilates dance, if you will. So let's stand on the feet, rotate into your ballet first position, heels and inner thighs squeezing together, arms out to the side, and we gramba ma to the front. So we brush and kick the leg up and lower down. Second side, take it down. Good, so both legs stay nice and lengthened and long and make sure you're shifting your weight onto your supporting leg so you can release the opposite leg. Good, two more, brushing the right and brushing the left. Beautiful, internally rotate your legs to a parallel line. Float those arms down, good. Drop your chin to your chest, rolling down, palms on the floor, bend your knees, of course, if you have to. And let's walk the hands out to our beautiful high plank pose. Booties down, core engaged. We're going to alternate placing our hand on our lower back. Eight times. The goal is to shift as little as possible. So really engage in your center. Try not to move anything but the arm. Good, we're almost there. Keep going. Hand on the lower back. Nice. Good, take a little pause here. Bend the knees. Jump the feet into your squat. Release your hands from the floor. And then let's externally rotate the legs out to the side, tailbone faces down towards the floor, and we pulse down in our beautiful plie squats. Good, knees in line with the toes, tummy lifting up, shoulders down, stay low. Good, whoo, feel the burn, all right. Come back to your squat, hands go down, shoot back out to your high plank. Good, from here, we're going to lift the right leg up into our arabesque, and then we switch to the left. Good, so again, no cheating, keep your bottom down, keep the body in that nice, flat, horizontal line. Good, keep alternating legs. Keep pulling that belly button in and up to your spine. Good, and last arabesque. 
And from here, everyone, stick with me. Adjust to your forearms and let's go into a ballet passe with the right leg, ballet passe with the left. So we're trying to connect our big toe to the back of our supporting knee. Good, breathe deep, keep that core engaged, booty down, no cheating. And from here, adjust back to your high plank onto the palms, bend the knees to walk your hands back towards the feet. Take a moment, shake out the upper body, no tension, and slowly roll up through the spine, bone by bone by bone, and the head is the last to come up. Okay, friends, we're gonna do that whole thing one more time. You can do it. Let's make it good. Here we go, ballet first position, arms out to the side, longest legs you can make, and we grand batma to the front. Good, keeping your turnout, keeping your legs long, and remember, you have to do little tiny shifts. So you're really shifting all of your weight onto your supporting foot. Beautiful. Internally rotate to your parallel line, float the arms down, drop the head down, roll it all the way down. Bend your knees if you have to. Walk the hands out, high plank pose. And eight times we place our hand on our lower back, alternating sides, shifting as little as possible. Good, four more, keep your gaze at the mat. Tummy muscles working. Last two repetitions. Nice. And from here, bend the knees and we jump into our squat. Release your hands from the floor. Externally rotate the legs and bring your pelvis to neutral, spine neutral. And we pulse it down, plie squats. Good, try to stay nice and low. Good, keep breathing, we're almost there. I know this burns. Good, and back to your squat, hands go down, shoot back out to your plank, and let's go for our arabesques, alternating lifting your leg to the back. Remember, you can decide on your foot position. I'm going to point my feet because I can't help myself, but you can keep your feet flexed if that feels better for you. Long, beautiful legs. Very nice, everybody. Last leg lift here. And now we adjust to our forearms. Ballet passes, go for it eight times. Right leg and left. Knee to the side, work that external rotation. Four more. Good, attaching the side of the big toe to the back of the knee. Good, adjust back to your high plank, stick with me, we're almost there. Bend your knees, walk your hands back, let your body just hang and shake it out. And slowly roll up through the spine, bone by bone by bone. Stack your shoulders on top of the hips, head is the last to come up. Woo, beautiful job everyone. And let's finish by taking a lovely balance. Feet crossed in a fifth position. Step out to your susu, really squeezing the legs together. Arms are up in a ballet fifth. Bring your arms to first and then lengthen your arms out in front of you. Good, keep those legs nice and strong, ankles strong, core strong. Float the arms up back to your high fifth and take a demi-plie. Let's change feet. 
Nice fifth position, one foot crossed in front of the other. Show the foot and step out onto the balls of the feet. Really squeeze those legs together. Lower your arms to first, extend your arms in front. And bring the arms back down to first and float them up to your high fifth. And a beautiful plie to finish. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and family. Hit that subscribe button and please comment down below. Take care of you and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.